hello students welcome back to my channel this video for the students of class 4b i hope all of you are keeping fine you already have successfully completed your first unit test from today we are going to start half yearly syllabus so before starting our new syllabus or new chapter i want to show you a picture so basically this is a clock have you ever this have you ever seen this type this kind of clock i think so you have seen so have you family familiar with this number this number this number this number no or yes so basically they are representing a numeral these numerals are known as roman numbers or roman numerals so can you guess what is our new chapter yes an introduction to roman numerals that is in your second chapter and today's topic is roman numerals and some basic rules to write roman numerals right so let's start so we are very much familiar with these digits or numerals 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and these numbers or numerals are called hindu arabic numerals and these alphabets basically i v x l c d m they are not alphabets in romans they used to use they used to do their calculation using these symbols and these symbols represents a numeral these numerals are called roman numerals in history we have read about their great roman empire hundreds of years ago the romans used their symbols uh, which is different from hindu arabic symbols that's why they are called roman because romans invented this that's why they are roman numerals but nowadays roman numerals are not used in calculation but sometimes we can see uh, in a clock uh, we use to write a question number right now we are going to show you roman numerals with corresponding hindu arabic numerals such as this i represents 1 in hindu arabic numerals v represents 5 x represents 10 l represents 50 c represents 100 d represents 500 m represents 1000 okay so since we are studying our um, second chapter that is roman numerals so you have to write the numbers in roman in a roman type instead of hindu arabic numbers right so in this chapter we will study only first three i v and x that means 1 5 and 10 these three symbols we are going to study in this class only 
and using this these three symbols and certain rules we may write numerals up to 39 in roman numerals okay we will study for this class up to 39 the numerals up to 39 okay up to 39 so now we are going to discuss some basic rules that is rules for writing the roman numerals so you have to remember these rules otherwise you can't write the number or the numerals of roman right so you have to remember these rules so first rule first rule uh, before starting this we have to remember a thing which is in the roman numeral system there is no symbol for zero in the roman there is no in the roman system there is no symbol for zero so you have to remember second one the symbol v is never repeated the symbol v that means uh, in hindu arabic five this v represents five so this five is never repeated third a symbol cannot be repeated more than three times a symbol in a roman that is not repeated more than three times okay and the fourth one the symbol i can be subtracted from five and that is that means v and x only this i only subtracted or can be subtracted from v and x only v means 5 in hindu arabic and x means 10 in hindu arabic and i means 1 so 1 can be subtracted only 5 and 10 for roman system so you have to remember these things so rule number one rule number one Rule number one, if a symbol is repeated, the value of the symbol is added as many times it is as it is repeated right so example if a symbol is repeated the value of the symbol is added as many times as it is repeated suppose So, I, that means double I. That is, I is repeated two times. It's two times. That means, this I represents in Hindu Arabic is one. So, it will be one plus one. That means two. Similarly, if I write double X, that means X is repeated two times. That means, X represents in Hindu Arabic, it is ten. So, it should be added 10 plus 10 that means 20 right and x x repeated three times that means 10 plus 10 plus 10 it will be 30 but for 40 we can not write four times x it should not be allowed it should not be allowed right because it is i told you 
ए सिम्बल कैन नट बी रिपिटेड मोर दैन थ्री टाइम्स सो फर फर्टी इट इज डिफारेंट फ्रम दिज रूल्स एंड उइ उल लार्न अबाउट इन द हायर क्लस ओके बिकज इन दिस क्लस उइ आर इंटरेस्टेड अप टू थार्टी नाइन नाउ द रूल नम्बर टू सो रूल नम्बर टू If a symbol of a smaller value is written to the left of a symbol of greater value, the smaller value is subtracted from the greater value. That means, if I write one and v, that is i and v, so i is smaller than v because i represents one and this represents five. That means i is smaller than v. so this i should be subtracted that means here we can say v means 5 and i means 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 basically basically it means 4 in hindu arabic numbers if i say this so it will be in the same it will is the same logic 10 minus 1 that means 9 right again suppose because here is an interesting thing here is an interesting thing that uh this i if this i is located before the bigger number then it would be subtracted Okay. This is for rule two. And for rule three, this i or the, the smaller number, if I write on the right side of a bigger number, it should be added. So basic difference between the left side and the right side. If you write the smaller number, uh, right side, uh, the smaller number of the smaller number, then it would be subtracted. and if you write the smaller number after the bigger number it will be added right so rule number 3 basically it says if the smaller number if the smaller number if i add if i add the smaller number after the bigger number it will be added that is this is v and i that means b means 5 and i means 1 so it should be added so it will represent 6 obviously this is 10 plus 1 that means 11 if i write if i write x double i that means 10 plus i is repeated two times and i said for the first rule so this sh should be 1 plus 1 and it represents 12 so in this way we can write we can use or we can write the roman numerals now rule number 4 so rule number 4 for writing numerals beyond 10 divide the numerals in groups of tens and ones and then write the roman numeral according to this to those groups suppose 25 this is hindu arabic numeral represent the number as a new roman numeral so how to write 25 25 means 20 plus 5 20 plus 5 means you have to write 20 so that means you have to break down as a tens group so 10 plus 10 plus 5 so 10 means in roman numeral it represent x 
it represent x it represent 5 so what is the roman numeral x x and 5 because it is added that's why we can write in this way okay now how to write 39 39 means 30 plus 9 that means 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 9 that means x x x and 9 means this so this is the roman numeral of 39 now i am going to show you the roman numbers up to 39 so you have to remember these rules you have to remember these numbers that is numerals okay so keep practicing please go through this video and try to learn and i think it will be helpful to understand that okay so thank you on the next day we will discuss the exercise of this whole chapter okay thank you